Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a fragrance, I guess, um, overall review, not review, more of like a overview, if that works, of all of my fragrances, my body splashes, I have like three lotions that I'm going to show you, but yeah, hope you guys enjoy. First off for lotions, one I don't have with me, it is Bali Mango and it's in my dance bag, but um, just because I like to keep a deodorant in there and a... Um, smell good so I don't have to worry about not smelling good while I'm dancing or whatever is after that. Um, then I have the Pink Sugar Creamy Body Lotion. This one's actually really, really liquidy, which I wasn't expecting since it says creamy, but you know, never trust the packaging. Then I've got the Essential Amber by Bath & Body Works. All of the Bath & Body Works things that I own were $5, I mean were $3 are given to me, so I am a sales um, I guess. I don't know how to explain it. I love sales. So much. Um, this is the Secret Wonderland Triple Moisture Body Cream, which actually this one I got last year um, when it was on sale, and this one's a lot more moisturizing than this is, and this is the Triple Moisture, and it's not as moisturizing as the body cream, so I don't even know. Whatever. So those are the four, I guess, um, body lotions that I have. Then for the other Bath & Body Works things that I own, I own the Peach Citrus Fragrance Mist, which this is really nice smelling, but it doesn't stay at all, like period, end of story, so that's kind of misfortunate, but it's nice for the five minutes that I can smell it. Then I have two Twisted Peppermints. This one's the Body Splash, and I'm almost out of this one. And it just smells like candy canes, so if you like candy canes, that should be your thing, but they're all gone, sorry. Um, I, of course, got these on sale. This is the Twisted Peppermint um, with an attitude, um, and it has shimmer in it. This one does, which, I mean, I don't really mind. It was $3 also, like I said. All of my Bath & Body Works products are $3 because I got all of them on sale. And, of course, who doesn't own Twilight Woods by Bath & Body Works? I really don't know anyone. Yeah, that's pretty much half of my collection as is <laughs> because they're all from Bath & Body Works. Anyways, this is the Fragrant Moisture Mist and this one is the Violet and Jasmine. Violet and Jasmine. Um, and I guess this is just a room spray, but it smells really good. And this is from Victoria's Secret. Pretty sure I um, stole this from my mom. But it's just really fresh smelling. And it smells kind of like lilacs. Less violet, more lilac. I don't know. Then I have something that I don't even think that you can get in America. Because my sister got it at a little local shop. And I guess they had this in overstock in Pakistan. <laughs> So they send it here, um, or something like that. I do not know, but this um, perfume my sister got for me, and it, I'm pretty sure in every single one of my videos, my little sister is doing something loud. And then I've got a um, Dollar Tree version of the Harajuku Lovers G from Gwen Stefani, um, and this just basically smells like coconut. Yeah, coconut and vanilla mixed together. It actually smells really good, so I would go um, and check at your local Dollar Trees. Don't look at the Jean Philip Paris or whatever that says. <laughs> look at the little name under it, and it should say something famous. I think that there was a Paris Hilton one that I smelled that I wasn't too fond of. This is the only kind of original one that I saw. Okay, well, let's see if I can finish this. I don't think it's going to happen. Anyways, next one. I've got um, pink by uh, pink with a splash, soft and dreamy. This smells amazing. I think pink sugar smells like irritatingly sugary. This smells like pure sugar. Like, if you wanted to smell sugar, this is what. And it has a teeny bit of vanilla in it, which is what I really like about it. And it's a mini. I got it for ten bucks, I think. Seven. Eight. Oh, there's a price on the back. Well, yeah, I got this for eight, and I love it. I actually bought one for myself, and then Serena bought one for herself, and we go, mm, Christmas present. So we switch, and we wrap them, and we give them to each other. <laughs> End of story. Then I have the Beyonce Heat Perfume. I love this. I have the mini size. This is the 0.8 fluid ounces, and I think I got this for 11.50, which isn't bad, but it's still 0.5 fluid ounces, which... Mm. But it smells insanely good, like crazily good. And I think that actually smells like better than the Beyonce Heat Rush. And I only wear this at night times because I only have so much of it. <laughs> but I need to buy the full size. I think it's like 40, 50 bucks. So I think it's bare. A couple of 50 dollars. 
Also, I wear this a lot more frequently than my mom does, but this is um, Lancome's Miracle. I wear this, I don't know, I guess just when I wake up late and I want to smell fresh. It kind of does have a little bit more of a mature scent, but I don't really mind it as long as it makes me smell fresh and like I just got out of the shower. I like it. And then I mentioned in my um, Christmas haul or my, my, uh, what I got for Christmas video that I got, that I had the Betsy Johnson tutu sample. This is so cute. Are you kidding me? That's adorable. Um, and it smells like chocolate and floral mixed together, which I really like. You know, chocolate is a girl's best friend. Diamonds, psh, who needs those? And then last but not least, I have the Pink Sugar Perfume. And I basically stick my perfumes all in this giant snowflake box I got for Christmas. And this is what it looks like with all of them in it. Quickly, before I leave for dance, I wanted to mention that I'd be happily um, do a review on any of these products that I showed in this video. Um, so just go ahead and shoot me a comment down below and tell me which one you want me to do a review on because I love fragrance reviews. So that is about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you later. Hugs and kisses.